Tracy here. I thought today I'd share with you this tag that I made and I actually taped the process of it. So I have a process video also. I am in a tag swap tomorrow. It is the evening before and me being a procrastinator, that's when I started, the day before it's due. Now the theme of this tag is uh, winter in Thunder Bay. And I thought that was neat. I live in Thunder Bay and this is a group of local ladies that are that uh, put on this swap. So I picked skating because when I was a young girl I loved to skate. So that's the theme I picked. So I'll just share with you. I used this Angie Blom stamp and she designed it and you can get it from Unity. And I colored her up with my Copics. And I need a lot of practice. <laughs> I haven't colored with my Copics in so long. And as I'm coloring, I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm pretty rusty at this right now. But I had fun doing it and I plan on doing a lot more um, coloring. What else did I do? I just added some embellishments on here. And I added uh, a couple masks. Well, a stencil and then a mask. And I added a little bit of Wink of Stella to the, um, to the ice. So that's what I did. Keep watching if you want to watch the process on how I made this tag. And if you don't want to watch the process, I still want to thank you for watching this far. So enjoy. Hi everyone, Tracy here. I haven't done a process video in so long, so I thought I would do one for this tag I am making. The theme of the tag is Winter in Thunder Bay. And when I was a kid, I just loved to skate. I remember skating at the neighbors. They had a little rink in the back or the side of their yard across the road from us and I used to skate on their rink every single day and we also had a little pond I used to skate in too so anyway um, enough reminiscing I colored this image I thought this image was perfect for the theme that I wanted to do and I colored her up with my Copic markers and this image is designed by Angie Blom and she is one of the Angie girl images and like I said I colored up with my Copics and Copic was having a challenge to use the colors BV02, B91 and V17 so besides her hair and her skin those are the only marker colors that I used and I haven't colored in so long and I'm looking at this and I'm like oh boy was I a bit rusty I need to color a little bit more so I have a little bit of an idea what I want to do. So I'm going to get started and I'm going to do the background with these colors of Distress Inks. I haven't put these colors together before, so we'll see how it goes. So I want the background to be trees because I want to do it like um, when I was a kid, there was a pond, well, we called it the frog pond. <laughs> Because there was frogs in there and it was really neat I loved skating on there because when you skated around there was weeds in that sticking up so you skated around and you had to miss certain things it kind of was magical to me actually I thought it was really cool so I'm gonna put this like this because I want the branches she'll be probably over here so I will tape that there to keep that on there and then just tape the actual tag down so it doesn't move too much. And this washi tape is not good. It wants to move around. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the lightest up. So I'm gonna start with the lilac so it looks more like, like the sun is setting. At least I'm hoping that's what it'll look like. We'll see. And then I'll blend the colors up as I go. Because I used to love to skate at night. Because nobody else would be around. And it was just me. And I could skate wherever I want. Yes. So I love to skate at night. I don't know why. It was just, like I said, even more magical skating at night. And I couldn't skate on the pond at night because it was pitch black. I lived in the country. So you didn't do too much in the pitch black. But I remember skating across the street at our neighbors. They had a really neat skating rink and uh, she'd let us skate there and they'd leave the outside lights on. So I used to do that a lot. And um, 
I remember a few times skating at the pond with my friends at night because that was fun. You know, you always traveled together. You never traveled alone at night, usually. Well, I did, but hey, I'm, I'm a little different than other people. <laughs> I didn't seem to be scared. I don't know. Lots of people were scared, like, don't go out at night, you'll get, there'll be, be well, not in the winter as much, but there'll be bears or whatever. So let's see how this looks. Well, that's pretty cool. Yep, yep, I think I like that. So we have that, and then, let me put these lids back on. And then I cut out, really quickly, just cut out this, um, I forget how I was going to have it now. This way, maybe. And I'm going to ink these up. So the edges ink them up a bit so they look like snow snow piles so we'll just ink the edges I just freehand these I just cut these freehand I know there's lots of little dyes in that you can get now but I just cut those freehand let's see how hard this is gonna be working out here oh yes what else I wanted to do too so this is gonna go up here a bit and maybe I should zoom in a bit I should probably put this actually on here I know it's really weird but I didn't want to get the paper dirty when, <laughs> when I was when I was inking so that's why I had it on my glass mat let me zoom in a bit more now if I can so nope we should move it out okay that's pretty good Okay, so we're going to put these down, and this down, and then what I wanted to do was put some snowflakes, and I have this little glass bead gel, I thought that might be fun, we'll see how it works, and these are going to be my snowflakes, so let's put these on, they're going to get dirty, <laughs> oh my goodness, I am so anal, I don't know how many of those things I have, these mats, like the papers. So I'm going to add, these are going to be my snowflakes, so I'm going to add this bead, this uh, glass bead gel. I thought that might look kind of cool, so we'll see how that looks. Because it is a mixed, a mixed medium type of a tag, so I'll do that, and then we have to let that dry. They don't have to be perfect. So there we go. Take this off. Well, that's cool. Let me show that up a little bit closer. Look at that. Oh, I like that. I know it's it's uh it's snowing pretty good in the background, but I really like how that turned out. So I'm gonna go wash off my scents be before this stuff dries. I thought I had some stars, but I don't. I just have these little snowflakes. So they're going to be my stars because it's art, artsy. So I can say they're stars if I want them to be stars. So I'm going to just color them with, I'm just going to dab them all with this mustard seed distress stain and see how I like it. And if I don't like it, which I don't mind it, I can add this ooh, tarnished brass. And it's an actual paint. I haven't used it yet, so I'm going to try one of those. Or should I just stick with the yellow? Let's see. Should I just stick with the yellow? Or does that look like dog peed on them? <laughs> Let's see. Let's see how this looks. Or a mix of them. No, you know what? That looks brown. I was hoping for like a gold. But I want them all to be the same, so I guess I did one. I should do them all. Now, this is yellow and brown, so you know what it looks like, eh? <laughs> Not what I wanted it to look like. Well, I don't know. Maybe I do like it. Let's see. Where'd I put my paper towel? I might end up just putting some sparkle on it. Let's see. Oh, I don't know. Look, it does. It looks more brass. That's going to be covered up, so that's okay. Because you know me, I make a mess, even though I try not to. We'll try 
gold stickles. Let's see. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, I, I like that. Oh, close up on that one. I like that. I like how that turned out. Look at all the sparkle on there. That'll look pretty. So I'll do those. Oh, I like those. I really do like those. Now I have to wait for everything more or less to dry before I can do anything else. You know what the worst part for me is letting everything dry. I have a problem letting everything dry. It takes forever and I get impatient. So I was moving these around and they weren't dry and I hit right there. So I think there's going to be a snowflake there, people. <laughs> so what I did was I added pop dots to the back of her because that's I want her to pop up a bit. And I added a little bit of an eyelash wool up here. So I'm going to stick her down, thinking probably right about, about, about there. Yeah, we'll stick her there. And I grabbed some glossy accents. I might do some glossy accents on here. I'll do that off camera. And then, well, we need to put one over here. I know they're not dry, but you know what? I'm really, I'm gluing them on. They can dry while they're stuck on there. So there's one. I'll stick you up there. Oh, look at that. See, it's soaked. <laughs> See, I can't wait for things to dry. I'll add more on after. So that one will go there. Then we'll add one, say, over here. Remember, these are supposed to be the stars, so they'll stay up high in the sky. Put that there. One up here. And I found these little, these, uh, I don't know, what are they called? Oh, they're just called gems. And I put those there. I don't know if I'll use them. That might be a little too much. That's right, I'm fancy. <laughs> Maybe one over here. Gonna use them all. Gotta use them all. And one up there. That's stuck because it's wet. Get off. Good thing it landed that side because there. Yeah, I'm going to have to add a little bit more stickles on it. You know what? That looks funny because that one's too high now. There. Good enough. Ah, that's cute. So I think I'm going to add, I don't think I'm going to add these. I don't know. I don't think they add anything to them. Yeah, or maybe. I don't know. Yeah, maybe that's just too much. Looks cool, but I think it might just be too much. But I might add some gla glossy accents onto there. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's done. I will have to figure out if it's done or not. I'll let it dry, add a little bit more sparkle on it since uh, I was impatient and it got all over my fingers. And I'll see if there's anything else I wanted to add to it. So I think I am totally finished and completed with this tag. A few things I did was I added those little dots, those little jewel dots. Um, I added the Winter Fun, that's a rub on. I didn't use the glossy accents on the ice, but I did use some, some Wink of Stella. Because with my luck, I'm thinking, you know what, now that everything was put on here, if I was to do the glossy accents, they would like run off or something would happen. So I figured I'd just leave it at that. So there we go. I think I'm totally finished this tag. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed the process of me making this tag. It actually went faster. It came along quicker than I thought, but then I kind of had an idea what to do. So thanks again, everybody. And I hope you all have a very creative day today. Bye now.